All right, guys, we'll start first with Adam Teicher. Go ahead, Adam. Hey, Mike, uh, just want to know whether you thought there's one area or two areas specifically where you feel like you're a better player than last year, and uh, if so, what they are. And Brad, I'll have a second question as well. Um, from last year, I feel like uh, football IQ definitely went up and uh, being situ situationally aware of things pre-snap, you know, uh, reading offices, you know, um, stuff like that, you know, pre-snap keys. And, of course, you know, uh, strength and conditioning is always improving each year or I try to better myself in those terms too. What about as a pass rusher? Do you feel like you're better uh, in that part of the game? And if so, why? And, and what did you do anything specifically to work on that part of your game during the offseason? Oh, definitely, man. That was part of the um, routine. And, um, I put a lot of time into that. You know, like I said, I, um, I worked a lot on the fundamentals and uh, mastered that. And I'm still trying to improve on that each day and become better at that. Uh, I feel more comfortable pass rushing, you know, uh, working at edges, speed or power. One of the two, you know, just using either or. Let's go next to Todd Levo. Go, Todd. Hey Mike, um, I wonder if you could just kind of speak to the, the state of the defense as far as your attitudes go. You know, it's been pretty tough the past couple of weeks. What's it been like in the locker room and the meetings with all of you guys? Oh, our energy is great. You know, we know we're a family, we're a unit, we stick together. You know, uh, there's always going to be ups and downs, but, you know, uh, we're going to ride it, be poised. You know, uh, defense, we're, we're going to handle our business and, you know, we're going to do what we're coached to do. You know, it's all about locking in throughout the week and uh, preparation so we can go out and execute on the Sundays. Let's go next to Sarin Petro. Go ahead, Sarin. Um, I know uh, Todd just asked you about kind of the mindset of the defense, but is there a sense of urgency when you look at the standings, right? I, I think there was a stat that you hadn't been out of first place since the Obama administration. Uh, now you're not just out of first place. You're looking up a couple of games and looking up at all three teams. I'm just curious where the urgency is right now with the standings. Oh, the urgency is always about getting better each week, man. We're, we're looking to improve. Uh, we're looking to put the pieces and the keys uh, and the places to make our defense better when it comes to those standings or whatever. So uh, as long as we're at least listening to coaches, working on our keys on and off the field, you know, uh, we got to do our jobs, and that's part of what we do. Let's go next to Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Mike, I wanted to ask you about that initial sack after the game. How important was it for you to just kind of play through the whistle there, and, and what did you maybe learn in the offseason that, that led you to, to getting that done? You know, it's just about being relentless, man. You know, uh, sacks are not easy to come across in this league. And um, I think just being relentless and effort and, you know, just having a motor to keep going and um, pass rushers keep rushing, you know. Let's go next to Matt McMullen. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, Mike. Also want to ask you about the sack. Uh, as a young player coming into year two, trying to build on what you did your rookie season. How good did it feel to get that sack here early in the season and truly an effort sack? Oh, it felt great, man. It was definitely nice to get the uh, monkey off the shoulders, get a sack, you know. Um, but uh, all I like I said, man, it's all about preparation throughout the week. You know, a lot of things what we do on Sundays is how we prepare for it on, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday at practice or practice throughout the week. And um, like I said, it felt great to have that, man, and looking forward to have that feeling again. Last two, we'll go Sarin and then Herbie. Go ahead, Sarin. Uh, Mike, how much uh, the red zone I know was a big focus, right, on improving on that from last year, and right now you guys haven't seen the results really where you want them to be. Uh, is there a, any panic there that, uh, you know, the changes that were made in the offseason aren't working? Are you looking at other options? I'm not looking, I know schematically I'm not asking you to lay out what you're doing, right, but, but is, is there kind of a feeling that, hey, plan A didn't work and now we're looking for plan B? Uh, there's not there's not a sense of panic, but there's a sense of urgency that, you know, that um, this is important that we have to get it, you know, figured out. And uh, the only to get better at it is, you know, uh, to work at it. And uh, we're going to figure it out and we're going to do what we do to make it better. We'll go last to Herbie T.O.P. Go ahead, Herbie. Hey, Mike, uh, through the first three weeks, you've, you've faced different types of quarterbacks with different types of skill sets. What is it about Jalen Hurts that you and your defensive teammates need to be aware of on Sunday? Well, you know, uh, it's a big RPO offense, you know, quick game. Uh, he, he's a great, intelligent football player, you know, um, aware of his mobility, you know, um, his scrambling, got a great arm. 
Uh, so, you know, uh, we, we got our keys that, you know, uh, we have our keys to victory and we're looking forward to the matchup on Sunday and uh, we can't wait to get out there and play them. Mike, we appreciate the time. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me.